what is going on guys it is your boy SSO here bringing us a cool little photoshop tutorial here today bringing us a cool uh gaming banner design tutorial um we're gonna be doing a really it's a really simple scheme as you can see but these really subtle kind of like like highlights that i have in this banner design are just really dope in my opinion i always have a lot of colorful and like you know freaking exciting kind of like banner designs the last like gaming oriented banner design that i had was like the overwatch one was a lot of color um just like a really cool like you know i did like a really cool text effect as well um, so but this one today is kind of like very dark and just like I have like a Call of Duty kind of theme going on here So I'm um, basically on the left hand side as you see over here is the Call of Duty 4 remastered kind of soldier holding his shotgun right here um, my, uh, my logo in the background of this gaming and banner design uh, right here. Um, I think this font is Arial FB and this is bold and uh, best font NA right here. This is the uh, Arial okay. Yeah, there it's that's what it is. I believe so actually right that has to be Arial Anyway, um, and then on the right hand side, there's like really nothing going on right here, but I kind of felt it looked okay. Um, as like, I'm not a big fan of leaving empty space, but in this case, it just looked correct. You know what I mean? As you can see, you kind of have like these cool little uh, striped things going on here. So kind of add like a nice little gray on this side, just to, like kind of fill it off. It was all black and I think it made it better. And I, I, I do like the way it came out. So any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So freaking don't forget to leave a like 200 likes on the video equals a signal down below i will be sure to make sure this is actually a, a perfect uh twitter header template so i want to make sure i give you guys a cool little pre-made banner design for you maybe to use for like any call of duty kind of things or something like that who never knows you can always change the picture um so yeah let's get going on our example and pretty much uh as you can see here is the before and after everything's all good the only thing you're gonna probably need is a picture which i'm gonna be using this one again right the call of duty 4 remastered guy right here i will be using that again um, other than that, I believe my starting black that I use is Hextech uh, 0F0F0F, and then pretty much we are good to go now. So, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just set up this cool little soldier here, and I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger by holding Alt and Shift and right-clicking, or click on the right over here, and then just dragging it up. Um, and I believe I am okay with this. So... Pretty much the way I went, I went ahead and like handled this is I just basically have a nice little cut, right? I did not pen tool them out, anything like that. Uh, you could, but it kind of like doesn't really make sense because you're gonna have like a random black space like in like over here. Uh, let me just show you. If I had it where it was like you know cut out and whatnot, I would have a lot of like empty space. Like you can still see like the sign here. You can still see that the picture is still there and it's like you know it's whole until it gets to over here on this side, right? So basically it's a really nice simple cut this way. No pen tooling out the uh, the uh, soldier itself, just because I didn't wanna have empty black space being right here, it would look like this. That's not what I was going for. So the way I went ahead and did that was I basically used the pen tool and we're gonna go ahead and just click, click it on here and basically make a nice little simple cut just like this. And we will go ahead and rasterize this layer and then press the delete on our keyboard. So, once you guys have this, you basically understood that it's just a simple cut, and now I'm gonna do like, like really quickly do is just change this from normal to a luminosity, and we're just gonna go ahead and lower this opacity down to whatever for now. I'm gonna say like 21 for now. Um, well, no, 20. That's just you know OCD. All right. So, pretty much after this, I'm just gonna show you guys a really simple thing that I did that I like how I did this right here, like how I started this off. And so, pretty much, if I can tell, this is a little too farther off. I just want to kind of like make it somewhat as close as I had before. So like right over there, maybe. Spacing wise, right? So uh, pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just use my uh, M marquee tool here. So make a new layer, use my M marquee tool. It'll bring up the uh, rectangle marquee tool just like so. M is the uh, key on your shortcut for the shortcut. And we're gonna basically do something like this, make this a pretty big, um, you know, width right now doesn't really matter. I just wanna make sure I make it big enough so that it actually fits diagonal this way. But um, we're just gonna go ahead and say the height is what's probably gonna matter. I'll put it at like 37 or so. And with this, I'm just gonna fill it in with any color. It doesn't really matter. So Alt Backspace or Control Backspace will fill it in with any uh, secondary or primary color you have on this little color mallet. And we're just gonna go ahead and rotate it so it lines up, you know, pretty close to what this is over here. Just like so. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my pen tool. And I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna actually do is I'm just gonna click and like click here for a second. So basically like where it starts on this side, but I'm also like give it like a little bit of an odd uh, like trim to it. So something like this, right? See what I kind of did there? So I'm gonna basically have a really big base and like a really smaller top. So if I just right click, make selection, and then press delete on my keyboard, 
you'll see that we kind of have like a nice little bigger base, smaller top. It just kind of like goes with the flow and I really like how it actually looks. And right now I'm just gonna also change this to black. Um, or should it be white? I think we'll just leave it white. All right, we're gonna put this on overlay. Uh -oh. Put that on overlay and we're gonna go ahead and basically find where we have this, like the stop of this smaller base up top, just like so. And this is what we wanna end up with. So basically what we did that for is, as you guys see in my example here, we had the same thing, a bigger base on the bottom and a smaller base on top. So what I did was I used the, um, the picture that we cut out as like a kind of like a little like a bevel kind of thing it kind of like makes a bevel on its own with its overlay and then like the picture itself so i thought that looked freaking awesome so i wanted to do it again for you guys and basically what we're going to do now is i guess we can do it right now why not like just do the little next extra new layer and we're going to go zoom in we're going to click close to the bottom of this base close as you can get it and then close to the top as you can get this and it should be on the straight line already and basically it's going to be a point on that side like uh, like a nice little point on this side and we're just going to give it a little bit of like a kind of like a little bigger base on the bottom, right? So we have a point on the top, a nice little big base in the bottom. And we're going to right click, fill this in with a color. And we will just probably have to change the color in a little bit, but whatever. For now, I'm just going to make this like nice and orange. And for this, what I'm going to do is actually make another new layer. But I'm going to clipping mask this layer to that new layer that we just had. So this is our little, uh, little light kind of thing, our little color thing. And we're gonna make a new layer above that and make a nice little clipping mask just like so. And then pretty much with this clipping mask, we're gonna take the pen tool one more time and do the same exact thing, but just keep it in the middle. So you're gonna have to get pretty close to this, just like that. And it's kind of like slice it in the middle, right click, fill path, drop down, use white, press okay, right click, uh, delete path. And pretty much you can just change this from normal to overlay and then lower the opacity down. And then what you can do is you can take your eraser and then just go like so. Now we have like a kind of little, like a, I don't know, kind of like a light kind of thing going on here. It looks really good in my opinion when you put your text in to look even better. So pretty much that is that. I'm We're totally going to change like the opacity of this kind of stuff. So I'm already feeling it needs to get lower down. Um, but for now, that's okay. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is for the text. So we're going to type in gaming. Um... Make that zero, and then we're not using Arial. We are gonna be using Agency FB, and then bold. Make this pretty big. And I feel like the text in this banner design uh, tutorial here today is just like a, a very like eye opener for some of you guys. Like I know a lot, a lot, a lot of my banner designs. I do not ever use any like textures or things like that in my uh you know in my fonts or my you know texts or whatnot. But I really feel like it's a it makes a really big difference. As you guys can see. This banner would probably look, you know, black if the text was just orange, you know what I mean? So with that being like said, like make sure maybe you guys, uh, you know, take hint of how this, you know, the, the text itself looks. And I'll show you guys how I kind of did it with my brush pack and stuff like that. And I'm also going to change the color of this stuff now because I got the other orange. Just like so. And then the color, this one is going to have to go ahead and change to the orange as well. And then we'll rasterize it so it actually gets this little highlight back. All right, sweet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this little text part right now. So this is all grouped. This is all good to go over there. And we're going to go ahead and uh, we're just going to basically start off with, we're going to start off with a nice little, like kind of like a, just adding a little stuff to it. So just brush pack, right? I'm going to use my uh, stock brush pack. If you guys want to, you can purchase down below. I'm just going to use some things from this really quickly. Um, you can use whatever the heck you guys want. If you guys just Google like uh, maybe dust particles or something like that to kind of get something that looks like this. And like you know make sure it's black and then just click a couple times on it kind of give like a nice little like you know just a little bit of texture going on right now for that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my textures um you guys probably like Google textures I have like a texture pack and stuff like that but you can Google textures get something like this and then basically I'm just gonna go ahead and just right click uh, uh oops make sure I change that um right click and then clipping mask this I just got this off of Google whatnot right I don't, I didn't even use my brush pack for this one or my uh, texture pack for this one. I just got it off my little textures over here on my other screen. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it on, let's see, what works best for this case. Uh, just going to scroll through these. That doesn't look terrible. Subtract and we just lower it down, right? To like 55 or so. Yes, I am down. All right, so this looks pretty good so far. 
definitely a fan. So I'm gonna go, I'm actually gonna do this as well. I'm gonna double click on the actual text and we're gonna put a gradient overlay on it. And we're gonna change the angle to like a 35. <clears throat> we're also gonna change this white to like a nice gray, just like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to blend mode and then go to overlay. And then we're just gonna lower the opacity down just a bit. And then for this, I think we're, we can add like an inner glow as well. I didn't do this before, but maybe why not, right? Let's just see what it looks like. Put it on overlay. That doesn't look bad. I'm a, I'm a fan. I do like how that looks. All right. So we do that too. Um, let's see what this looks like. Global illumination. And then put the angle on 90 and then like drop this. I'm doing a lot that I haven't did in like the actual practice banner, but why not? I'm just going to figure some stuff like maybe like that. Not bad. Like a nice little drop shadow. I'm not really, I don't know if that's going to work out. Also the inner shadow is just a little bit too much or the inner glow. I'm just going to lower the opacity like 35. We're going to press okay. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to make another new layer. That's uh, going to be also clipping mask onto the actual, you know, text here. I'm going to use a nice little soft brush, make it white. And we're going to click on the top here, change it to overlay. And then click on these like, you know, spots, like something like this, right? Now basically we have our gaming text all like, you know, pimped out basically. It looks really good. And we have no like uh, CC stuff going on just yet. I will be putting that in, trust me. So it's gonna look a little bit different in a second. And I'm just gonna put banner design on the bottom. Just like so. I can use the aerial font again if I really, really feel like it, but I know exactly what the comic says is just gonna say, but I was feeling it. I was really, really feeling the aerial font, okay? Like, don't, don't blame me, okay? If you're on my side, we are friends for life, okay? All right, boom, there we go. Ariel is being used and banner is spelt wrong. I know you guys are about to say something. I found it myself. Boom, there we go. So pretty much now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually set myself up with a nice little brush uh, hit right on the top again of this banner design. I love doing this just because I feel like it evens things out puts everything on the same playing field that makes any sense I pff, don't ask me what that means I just feel like it looks good and it kind of like completes things for me um with that being said with that being done as well I'm also gonna put a another new layer drive this below that light we just did and we're gonna do this little thing over here take my pen tool and kind of like you know kind of follow the same angle this is obviously off by a little bit but I'm just gonna I kind of want it to be off just a little bit actually just like so and we're just gonna make this a nice gray. Oops, fill. And we're gonna make this a nice little color gray. If this is okay with you, it's okay with me. Um, That does look pretty good, I can lower the opacity down. All right, we're down for that. So pretty much now, over everything I just did in this banner design, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the uh, brightness and contrast now. So go to my little adjustments tab right here, go to brightness and contrast, and we're just gonna lower the brightness up the contrast as normal. Maybe put the brightness up a little bit more. All right, this is looking really good. I do like how this is looking. Um, what I could do is I can take, like where I, my, this is my background layer, right? I'm gonna take a new layer, use a white brush, and kind of like, see if I wanna hint some light in some spots. Nothing really heavy. Something like that, and lower the opacity, not even put it on overlay, anything like that, just put it on, keep it on normal. Hit some light in some spots. I like how that looks. And actually below the text that we just did, I'm gonna put an orange. So some orange, right? Just like so there and there. This orange is very, very like super vibrant, but I do like it still. It's not the same exact orange that I had on my other one. Here we go. Put the opacity up just a little bit, right? And actually, Let's kind of actually what we just do is this is not ideal, but it's just a little bit too vibrant for me. Kind of want like that kind of orange, you know what I mean? Like, see the big difference? It's almost too red, you know what I mean? That's what I meant to say. Um, that's it. That looks pretty good actually. So right here, I'm pretty much like done. What I did do for the actual little like uh like what do I call them? Like highlights or like let me just show you guys. What I actually did do for this right here, these like things right here. What I did for that. Well, I just used a simple brush, right? I just used a brush. Which one did I use? I think I used like this one again. And pretty much you can just use, I don't know, maybe even, you don't even have to use a brush. Kind of like just make, like use a simple like hardness brush. Everyone has a hardness brush, right? Let's see if this works. If it doesn't work, I'll just use my other brush. But I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of just go like, you know, with a white brush, pretty small diameter, like three or so. 
do something like this, right? I'm just gonna like do scratches, kind of like scratching it, like almost X's. We'll see if this works or not. Something like that. And I'll just take like a nice orange and do that like right here and like right here. So with these little scratches, let's see if it works. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna go to blur, motion blur, and we're gonna go ahead and just use about 34 pixels on a 55 angle. Pretty much press OK, and it kind of worked. It doesn't look terrible, and they slow the opacity down just like so, right? Not even put it. We can probably also put it on like mm, mm, color dodge, maybe color dodge. That wouldn't be too bad. Looks pretty good. All right, looks like 35 or so. All right, so I'm definitely a fan of this. It's pretty much we're almost pretty much done. Like I, the only thing I want to try is just an exposure. See what it looks like. Put the exposure up, offset. Mess with the gamma correction. Probably not ideal for this kind of thing. It's very, very, very dark already. Um, but I kind of like that. You know, I just did a little something, something. So like 0 .00004 for the offset, and everything else is still the same. So that's all I did for it, and it kind of looks good. I do like how that looks. So yeah. Pretty much, guys, that is the banner uh, design tutorial for today. If you guys do like it, please do not be sure to leave a like. Please do not be sure. Please be sure to leave a like, God. And thank you guys so much. Uh, we are at 56.385K. That's freaking awesome. I thank you guys so freaking much. Um, do, not, uh, do not forget to check out my Selfie. Selfie.com slash SwitchQ for any premiums and packs as low as 5 bucks. Actually, as low as $3 now uh, as my texture pack is now out and stuff like that. And do not forget to fill out my Twitter. Please follow my Twitter at SwitchQ. Got like if you don't follow my Twitter and you're if you watch my videos every single week, you and I have a situation. Just make a Twitter if you don't like Twitter. You want to just see me tweet, okay? That's it. All right. Thank you guys so freaking much. Uh, Two hundred likes equals a secret novel. In the okay, now I'm just like really trying to go to the gym right now, so I'm not trying to like rush. But two hundred likes on the video equals a secret down below. Thank you guys so 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 much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this banner design tutorial here today. And also I'm just gonna check what it looks like if I change the color, just because I'm curious. Uh, pink is dope, we're a fan. So yeah, if you guys take your time on this kind of stuff, and also what I did was, I think I actually used a, uh, a texture and just put it on the top of everything. It might have been this one, it might have been a different one, but let's just see what this one looks like. No, I did not, I totally did not use that. I kinda, I think I just typed in grunge in Google, and I took like the nearest one, I think. It was like a really okay one. Was it this? No, it was totally this right here. It was like this one. So what I did was, as I just changed the uh, the hue, which I just pressed Control U for the shortcut to actually bring up hue and saturation on a layer that's actually rasterized. Take my saturation, throw it all the way down. And what I did was, I just put this on overlay. And I lowered the opacity down like a lot. There we go. That's kind of what I had before on my other one. So like 15% or so. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. This is the one we did in the tutorial, just like so, and this is the one we did uh, without anything. I actually put like little smoke textures in there as well, but that's just like something I had on my own, you know? So just please go for it, try your hardest, do whatever the heck you guys wanna do. You, you don't have to use Call of Duty, but I just choose to um, because I like Call of Duty and that's kind of where I came from. So thank you guys so much. Talk to you guys later. Let's switch you out. Peace.